Welcome to day 15 of my 100 days of Wefla journey. Today we are talking GSAP. We're gonna go over the scroll animation. You see how it scrolls in the text and the images scale up. I'm currently learning GSAP and I'm taking the opportunity of this 100 days journey to build more on that library. I'll leave a link to the clonable under the video. You can download and feel free to play around with it. Show me what you come up with. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned on this 100 days of Wafla journey. So without further ado, let's jump to it. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how I built this briefly and uh, we will iterate more on it on the next few days. I will build more on this, but this is just the starting point of how to start on with GSAP. So GSAP is a library, you can find it. I think if you Google GSAP, it says green sock. So this is the library. Uh, you can go to scroll. We're going to use scroll trigger today. So this is the scroll trigger library. You can go to the documentation here and learn more about it. There's a lot of things you can do here. Uh, really opens up your limitations. You don't have to be limited to the to the stuff that Workflow gives you or other libraries. And this one is like really smooth. It's very good on performance, so you don't have to worry about any of that either. Now let's go over what I've worked on. So there are four titles and some background elements. The titles are in fixed position in this platform parent div, which is 500 view height. Uh, the, plat the titles are a div block within the div block centered a heading, a big heading. And uh, then there are the images that are spread around this 500 view height uh, platform div. So taking that into account, we'll come to make our JSAP animation. Of course, we'll call the... Uh, so to install JSAP, you just need to call the CDN. So if you go to JSAP, you go to scroll trigger. And then here you go to download, CDN and then you just copy scroll trigger, you just copy the script, this code here from this button, and then you just paste it, and this is part one. Part two, uh, I'm gonna leave the code here, so you can, if you clone the project, you can copy the code from here. Uh, so first, we will call the scroll trigger function, and then we'll go on to select each title by number, since we have the titles with the data attribute, data title 2, data title 3, and so on. So we'll target those one by one in a sequence. And uh, this is the animation that happens. So when, when the page starts, the trigger is the platform, that 500 view height page. And then when it starts, that's when the animation starts. And when it ends, that's when the animation ends. So there is a scrub of 0 0.8. That means it's just like the delay, you know, that smoothness in the, in the animation. And this is the animation, so it's timeline from title being opacity 0, scale to 0 0.5. It just uh, adjusts to become bigger, basically, and the opacity turns on to 1. The same thing goes for the images. I just adjusted the images. I was trying to make that second title work better with the second image, but I'll iterate more on that. In the upcoming videos but this is basically it they just scale from 0 0.8 to 1.2 or to 2 depending on the image and uh, that's basically it so you can play around with jsab there is a lot of video timothy ricks thank you for all the videos that you've been doing that there i've learned a lot from timothy ricks check out his videos uh, learn more about jsab and tell me if you have any ideas that you want to see throughout this journey using the GSAP library. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned something here. You can try out the clonable, try to make some different iterations on this, see what you can do with it and share with us so we can learn together and uh, explore this library more and more every day. So stay tuned for day 16 tomorrow. See you tomorrow.